Hey guys, it's Brandon here. The new iOS 5.0.1 jailbreak is out now, and it works for the iPod Touch 4th generation, 3rd generation, the iPhone 4, the iPhone 3GS, and the iPad 1. The iPad 2 and the iPod, iPhone 4S jailbreaks are coming out around next week, so make sure to stay updated with my channel when I jailbreak this iPad on the 5.0.1 software. If I can zoom in, okay, I focus. <laughs> All right, so make sure to stick in next week if you have the iPad 2 or the iPhone 4S. Anyway, but for this video, let's go ahead and jailbreak my iPod Touch fourth generation here. All right, so you have to make sure that you have uh, updated software on 5.0.1. Um, so you can go to your settings and go to software update and update from there, or you can go onto your computer and uh, go to your browser and search um, up the link in the description, you know, you just click on it or whatever. Uh, download the iOS 5.0.1 for your device right here, whichever one you have. And after you get that software, you just need to go into your iTunes. Let's go into my iTunes here. Um, and you're going to go to your device and hold shift and click update. The, mine says check for update because my iPod is the most updated, but you can just hold shift and click that and it'll bring up um, a window up here and you can search for the softwares that you software you have so in my case I'm the iPod 4 on the 5.0.1 software and you just click on that and then you update I've already done that so I don't need to worry about that but you can also just do it on your device so anyway so now that you have that, we can go ahead and um, get rid of our iTunes for a moment. Um, we need to download Red Snow. Red Snow is going to be the program that's going to jailbreak your device, actually give it Cydia and the programs that you want. So let's go ahead and you, I'll have this in the description as well. And you're going to click for Windows or Mac, whichever one you're on, and you're just going to click on that and you'll see this and you download the attachment here and it'll just start downloading. And it's it's it'll download it pretty quick, and it is a zip file, so you have to make sure that you can extract it. Um, if you have a Windows XP, you may have to download a WinRAR program in order to export the zip file. So just go to Google and type in WinRAR program if you have those older operating systems. If you have Windows 7 or Vista, then you should be okay. Just go to the software. So we're gonna go in here and show them the folder. Um, and we're gonna click on this and hit extract files. Now we can go to libraries, we can just do it our desktop or whatever and you just hit OK and then it'll extract to wherever you set it to. After you've extracted it and you got that uh, taken care of, you just need to go to um, your software. So let's go to I my iPod jailbreak stuff, Red Snow, and you're going to go ahead and click on the Red Snow program that uh, you have extracted. Sorry, let me zoom in. Okay, there you go. It's going to open up this little window right here. Let me get rid of all the distractions in the background so we can just focus on this. Um, you can see it says jailbreak right there, jailbreak and install Cydia. So that's what we want to do. So you simply just click on that. And this screen tells us to shut off our device and then uh, hit next, which will put us in DFU mode. So we have to make sure we do the combination of buttons and just make sure to watch my video before you actually do the jailbreak. Okay, so what we need to do is we just need to, our device is plugged in. Now let's just go ahead and shut it off. So you hold the power button, slide it off. Now that we have that done, um, we can hit next or we can just put it in DFU mode by ourselves and then hit next. So I'll just do DFU mode by myself and show you guys how to do it. Or if you want to follow the online uh, on-screen instructions, if you just hit next, it'll bring up some instructions for you on how to do it and it's super easy. So what you do is you're going to hold this power button for um, like two seconds and then you're going to hold both buttons for about oh, 10 seconds. And then you're going to let go of the power button and keep holding the home button until the computer recognizes the device. So here, let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to hold this. Ready, go. And you're going to hold the home button. 
keep holding it, wait for the computer to detect it. Now let go of the power button. Keep holding the home button though. Now we can see that uh, red snow has detected it. So now it's going to be exploiting with lime rain. Um, it's just going to be installing Cydia and all the packages and everything. So now this is the time when we're just going to be waiting for the device. Um, it says waiting for reboot. It's preparing the jailbreak and whatnot. Um, my iPod should uh, turn on here in just a moment and uh, start loading up some code and whatnot on the device. Cool. Now it says, uh, what, what do I want to put on here? I can install Cydia, I can install a custom bundle, enable battery percentage, and enable multitasking gestures. Well, in my case, um, I can do whatever on through Cydia, so, but I really do like the battery percentage and we want Cydia, so I'm just gonna keep those two and hit next. Now it's gonna wait for the reboot. Your device should begin to look like this, and it says downloading jailbreak data. Um, and it's uploading RAM disk on here. Just going through the jailbreak process. Now everything else should be on your iPod. You can actually close out of Red Snow if you would like. Um, here, I'm gonna set my iPod to the side. We should hit close up here because it says done right there, so we're good. Everything else will just take place on the iPod itself. And then next week, make sure to stay in touch with my uh, channel so that you can see the jailbreak for the iPad 2. It's, um, it's going to be very similar to this jailbreak. Uh, and again, this, this next week's jailbreak will work for the iPad 2 and the iPhone 4S. So if you have any of those two devices, you're going to be in luck. Um, these updates have been coming from um, Pod2G, who's the expert behind the Red Snow and uh, Corona jailbreaks. If you want more information on that, I'll have a link in the description for you, and you can read up on that. iPhone Heat is a great site where you can just stay up to date with all the jailbreak stuff and uh, new apps and whatnot. So if you go there, that's how I get all of my information is just going there. It's super helpful and uh, totally recommend it. So right now it's just installing Cydia, um, going through the jailbreak process, very simple. Okay, so the device just barely uh, finished with that. Now it's just going to reboot. And again, this is an untethered jailbreak, so you can turn off your device and turn it on anytime you want without any worries, any problems. It'll act just like a normal iPod, um, but have Cydia installed where you can use third-party applications. All right, so the device just finished. All you have to do is just open it up. So the iPod just rebooted, and you can see now that we have a Cydia right there. Um, it can be anywhere in your device, just swipe through, or you can go to Spotlight Search and search Cydia for your, for your device. Um, and then you're just going to click on it. It starts out as a white icon, um, usually because it will uh, load up and then process and then shut you out, and then you can just go back into it and it'll start over again. Um, but eventually it will turn back into the Cydia icon, which is going to look like that. And uh, but So if you see the white icon, don't worry, it works just fine. And you can still download and install uh, all the third-party applications that you're going for. So, okay, well, I hope this video helped you guys jailbreak your device. Um, look forward for the iPhone 4S and the iPad 2 jailbreak. It's going to be super easy. It's going to be very similar to this jailbreak because it is a Red Snow jailbreak. Uh, hopefully uh, this helped you guys. If you have any comments or questions, just throw them down in the, in the comment section below. And I'll try to get back to you guys as soon as I can. Uh, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if, I, if this helped you guys out. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later. See ya.